All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here. We are in Grangeville. We decided we'd pull on up here. route. And we were going to... Please gonna, proceed to highlighted route. What are we going to do? Were we actually going to do anything other than just pull up here? I don't remember. Because I remember we were pulling up to the truck stop here because it was a good spot to stop. So let's see on our map. It looks like we could use a little sleep. But we're going to be heading up here to Lewiston. We've got to go through Lewiston. And then we'll be up here to Coeur d'Alene. And it looks like there's a sleeping spot right across the road from where we're stopping. So I think we can make it. I don't think we are in that desperate need of sleep right now. So we'll go on up. And yeah, I looked up. Since, since Red Tex wasn't doing his job, I looked up, and yeah, these things right here, every time you see one of these, that's one of those scenic sites that you pull up and stop your pull up and stop your engine, and it gives you a scenic overview of something. Like that one shows you timber harvesting. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. We don't need any fuel, and we're going to hold off on our sleeping. So let's see if we can pull on through here. And get on out. What time is it? 7 in the morning, isn't it? Let's go ahead and turn our lights on just in case. Just in case. Alright, where do we need to be? We need to be back over there, don't we? So we'll loop on around. Pull around these trucks here that are sitting there getting their getting their needed rest. Recalculating route. And we'll see if we can get back out there onto the, get back out there onto the highway again. Then well, that's Indiana, Indiana 85. Is that the one? Or Idaho 85? State Road 85? Is that the one? Now where's the exit? Looks like it's right over here. This is where we came in from, I think. Nope, we came in from that side over there and drove through. So we could have come in here, and that's where we'll go. Let's head on out of here. And I think we're going to go to the left, if I remember right. Because we came in from over yonder. Yep, we're going to turn left. Why are you doing all this? We're going to go this way. This way is the way we're going. What's all this stuff for? tell you sometimes it just doesn't know it just doesn't know what it's doing turn okay. left gps is good but gps ain't never gonna replace you know totally replace the ability to read a map that's for sure recalculating route you recalculate your route i'm gonna go this way all right so this should be our last leg should go like I said it'll take us through Lewiston and then right on into Coeur d'Alene which is right up there right real close to the the Washington border Washington State so we'll be real close on up there like I said we're getting on up here in the northern northern Idaho which we'll see a bunch of I mean we got a bunch of these farms and all so we got a bunch of potatoes and stuff we could pick up too but we'll be up there close to where all the logging and all is. You can see way up there in the horizon, things are getting hilly. And we already been through a pretty hilly patch of it as well, too. Alrighty. We got six more days. This ends on August 16th, is how long they're giving everybody. Because uh, the main part, the part where they were like, you know, they... They said they wanted this to, to be just kind of laid back and casual, and they said, you know, take your time and all, and they said 30 million miles is what they said up, because they figured that was a nice big number. 30 million miles of driving, of deliveries, and that way everybody could just relax and do it. And on their blog, they said day five, day five after they started it, the community hit 30 million miles. Just absolutely incredible. There's a lot of people out there that like driving trucks, that's for sure. Or, oh, like I said, ooh, look over there. 
that bridge and all over there. Well, let's just keep it on the road. Let's not do too much sightseeing. Not do too much sightseeing here. Not if it means we're going to go down in one of these valleys or go over to the right and crash into a tree. I think I'm going to leave my lights on just because I like them on. It's still a little bit dark out here. What time is it? It is 7.30 in the morning, so it's still a little bit dark. Yep, see that bus has still got its lights on too, so we're going to leave ours on for a little bit longer. We're getting on up here in the logging stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, is that a train trestle? I bet that is. I bet that's a... Looks like a train trestle going over. It could be a highway, but it looks like a train trestle. Just from the, the from the the looks of the sides of it, I've seen a lot of train trestles look like that with kind of the kind of the the squared off corrugated steel sides of them and all. This is a big change. Those of y'all out there that don't like desert, you know who you are, Bubba. Those of y'all don't like desert. This is a big change. You are definitely getting. Definitely getting your feel of not desert out here. I thought that was, I couldn't believe it was like how could we have come up on that so quickly, but no. Nope. It's just a sign telling us we're still on that highway. park off there to our right. That's another thing to experiment with too once we uh, just slow it on down. We got an intersection up here. The Clearwater River. That's another thing to experiment with too once we uh, once In we're able to just drive yards, around. Turn left. Whenever we just decide that we're just going to go driving around and all that is we'll see turn some of these places left. you know you some of these places, it, it sits there and it's not really showing up on the map that you can get into them, but you can get into them. They're kind of like Easter egg type stuff. All right, we're going to pull on out this way. Stop this line of cars, cars and vehicles coming. And we'll pull on out this way and hopefully... Won't nothing plow into us over that way. All trucks left lane. Left lane? Why all trucks supposed to be in the left lane? Oh. We got a wait station or something coming up? Yep, we do. Wait station left. Why the heck? Do you people put all your weight stations on the left? What the heck is that all about, huh? That just don't, that just don't make no sense. You just got to be different, Idaho, don't you? You just got to be different. Recalculating route. Let's take a look at what the... What the Idaho police look like? Are you a policeman? Nope, you're you're just tow truck. I don't see if the Idaho Idaho cops had any particular special special paint jobs. All righty, let's see. Seventy thousand six hundred and sixty-seven pounds. You know, it looks like it does take into consideration. Look at that guy over there making his stop too. It does look like it takes into consideration how much fuel you got on board. Because I think earlier when we had more fuel on board, it looks like it really did make sure our truck weighed more. Alright, let's get ahead and get into this lane. I think we're clear. And then we'll have to see if we can get into the other one whenever we clear it. We're coming over. 
There we go. And now we're in Lewiston, so we should see the You Have Discovered Lewiston pop up here in a second. Cordeline and Spokane, right? Lane. What's that say? Observe fire restrictions. Alrighty. Well, I ain't gonna be starting a campfire in here. That I can promise you. And remember, just like all these, you get the, you can get the signs that say you're in Lewiston, but until you actually get into the town itself, it doesn't count it. So it looks like we're not Keep gonna get right. Then immediately exit right. It looks like we're not going to get close enough to Lewiston for it to actually count. And that's fine exit because right. that way it's not going to pop up on our map. There's a big old circle in one of them places we visited. So we'll know that we have to come back here. And that's fine with me. Let's turn that off. Oh, see, they're dumping us out again. Y'all y'all really need to work on these ramps here. I thought y'all were getting a whole lot better until y'all got here. Y'all were a whole lot better with the on and off ramps until you got here in Idaho, and now they're just sucking again. We're finally at a speed where we might need to cut on the cut on. We got a grade that like I said we ain't got no trouble getting up it, but we're still going slow enough. We might need to turn on the blinkers. Now we broke 35. Let's cut the blinkers back off. This is going to be a fun one coming back the other way. We're just like free balling. Just taking a look at all my other gauges. We're still okay on fuel. Looks like our air pressures and all are okay. Our oil gauge is doing all right there. We are putting a few too many RPMs on it, but we ain't redlining it, but we out of the green comfort zone there. You know, the comfort zone there is where you is where you get in the best fuel economy. Anytime between that 10 and 15 there. If we were manually shifting, we probably would have shifted earlier. Of course, that also probably would have meant that we had uh, we'd stalled out or started chugging or something else too, you know. Boy, we're still climbing. This is a big, long climb. I also looked up that 45th parallel. You know, that's when you cross the 45th parallel, cross that latitude line. You know, we got that achievement. And that's where it's... Now, as they say, that gives you the honor. You're halfway between the equator and the North Pole when you cross that. 45, bam! We're at the halfway mark. I imagine you could have got that coming up through uh, Colorado, uh, uh, Oregon, too. That's probably another place you could have picked it up at. All right, looks like we're almost cresting the hill here. Yep, we're speeding up. My foot's off the gas. And we are speeding up still, so we have crested the hill and on at least a little bit of a downslope. We'll just have to keep our eye out on it. We don't want to get going too fast. Just 
some of these curves might be a little tricky. Now, there are quite a few. Y'all remember, we talked about Idaho being the potato capital. Like one-third of the potatoes that are eaten in the U.S. come from Idaho. Come from this one state. Whoa, yep, we're... S I tell you what, let's put on cruise control. Let's see if it'll hold it at 55. There we go, there's my Jake brake. I thought I still had a Jake brake on here. All right. So I didn't want to burn up my brakes. I didn't want to overheat my brakes and have them burn out on me here. And we were in a bit of a danger. We could be in a bit of a danger of that happening. That was quite the hill. these rock formations and all. Wish I could give y'all a better view of them, but this road's a little snaky. This road's just a little bit snaky, and you saw me bobbling just a little bit there. This is a heavy load on the back of here. And if it, if it starts tipping, we in trouble. But enjoy what you can see of them there. Look at all these. We're cut through the, cut through the hills here. It's pretty. Like I said, they. That's why these things. Why it takes six months for one of these to come out? Because they spend all this time making these new assets. You know, they just don't copy and paste. Don't just copy and paste what's come before. See that road over there, that secondary road over yonder. I wish we could get on it. That would be nice, and that's one thing I want to look at stuff like pro maps, the pro mods maps and stuff like that, whether they add extra or let you get over on those secondary roads. Because if you could take those secondary roads and these detours and stuff wouldn't be all that bad, you know. I'd have I'd have detours turned up a hell of a lot higher than they're turned on, because I've got them on the minimal setting that they're not turned off. They're not fully turned off, but they're on absolute minimum otherwise, because like right here, we got a detour right here. We probably have a four or 500 mile detour to get out of the way. And that's just, that's just ridiculous. Cause we could, should be able to go back to one of these turn offs and just turn on one of these secondary roads, you know? So, you know, until they do that, until they get it, so it's a little bit more realistic on all the little bit look at that marina down there until they get it just a little bit more realistic on the the use of of other roads and stuff like that like that one off to our right that's got all those x's across it cordeline there just ain't no reason for us to to have all those detours turned up and have all those problems That's the Spokane River here. All right, that's what the marina doing, getting all those boats, all those boats so they can come tooting along on the Spokane River, and I imagine it eventually get to the coast. You can toot along along it and eventually get on maybe over there to the Pacific Coast and get out there into the Pacific. Maybe that's how it works and all.
Sand Point, and I swear that looked like it said Gloomhaven's off to the right. In 200 yards, turn left. Alrighty. Turn left. Hello there, car. We're gonna go ahead and make a left-hand turn here. Actually, thinking about the physics, I shouldn't have to worry too much about turning it over because that low boy, it's got its center of gravity way down. It's just, you know, center of gravity is just maybe a foot off the road. So we might, you know, common wisdom would tell me that it's the kind of thing where it ought to be real hard to roll it conventional wisdom, you know, but that don't mean that that's the truth. That don't mean that it would actually, that the physics wouldn't be a little bit wonky in this thing, and it might treat it like the, might treat a trailer going at a good speed, it might treat that trailer like the, the center of gravity is actually 12 feet off the ground, you know, who knows? I'd hope it'd be good. I'd hope the physics be good enough that the, the center of gravity be nice and low and just off the just off the surface of the road, but that don't mean for sure that would be. Alright. We should be coming up on our destination here very shortly, and then we'll come back and get us a donut there. <sighs> oh, there we go. See? That's a good thing that we looked and saw that the next rest stop is right across the street from where we're dropping this off, because we're going to need it. And you're gonna make me stop. I was hoping we'd slowly creep up. Wouldn't have to go to a full stop, but we still start off a whole lot faster. You see, we're kind of jackrabbiting out of here, so. Those extra 150 or so horses under the hood. Helping us out good. I know, I know, we're yawning. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, see if we can park it, and then we'll go take a nap, alrighty? Or maybe it, we'll do it the other way. Yards. Turn right. Turn right. Our jake brake to slow down. We were going a little bit too fast. Didn't want to plow into the back of that truck there. Worse, go flying out the yonder and plow into that thing out there in the, the steel yard. That would not have been fun. Cleared, we're cleared. 200 yards, turn left. All right, there's where turn we can sleep. Left. All right, so we're going to Avalanche Steel. Not often we see cars coming out of driveways and stuff like that coming up this way. I guess this isn't technically a drive, it's actually a road. All right, maybe we should get a nap. In 200 yards, turn right. I'm trying to debate here. Should we go turn take a nap right. first? It won't be very realistic, but I'm worried about falling asleep while we're trying to park it, you know? And I'm wondering what this parking job is going to be like. Oh, and I bet we can't sleep down there anyway. Because that's a truck headquarters. We see where another truck headquarters is. Let's get up here and let's park this puppy right quick. 
Coeur It's amazing that we had to come to a junkyard to find the town. That's just, that's just weird. You have arrived. Alrighty, ooh yeah, we're red. So what we got? We got a 90 pointer, a 15 pointer. Let's go for the 90. Gonna be way up there. Getting tired. Well, I know, I know. Oh God, yeah. I hope we'll be able to sleep over yonder at that that headquarters. If not, this could get really interesting really fast. Alright, we cleared the little yellow marker. Zoom it on in. There we go. They want us to put it right over there, huh? I think the hardest part of this one. Yeah, I think the hardest part of what they think this thing is is weeding it in through all these gates. All these little narrow, narrow little twists and turns here at this junkyard. Ooh, that's not going good. That's not going good. We're getting sleepy. We're getting so sleepy. All right. Let's see if we can get this puppy parked back there. Turn it back this way. Okay, straighten her on out a little bit. Follow her on back. Follow her on back. Tired. I know I'm getting tired. Spinning on around this way now. That get the trailer there. There we go. All right, that's good enough. Let's park it. Let's kill the engine. Let's get out and take a quick look at what we did. It's ugly, but by God, that's going to be good enough for us. So, boom. Let's get out of here before we fall asleep. All right. Twin Falls to Coeur d'Alene. Excellent. 500 miles. Took us 5 hours and 23 minutes in real time. We burned 86.4 gallons of gas. That's completed 24 contracts. We made $20,600, we got 1,242 experience, and we got a big jump. We jumped up, ooh, it looks like a little over, maybe a third or so, through the level 11 workhorse. So we're headed toward number five there. So let's continue on. There you go, we got four of the 11. We're almost halfway. So we'll see where we go next time. I'm gonna look at this world map here right quick. And let's zoom on in a bit. See? You got that sleeping spot there, but I don't know if we can actually use it. So if we can't use that, where else do we have to sleep? Where's the closest one after that? We gotta go out of here and go over here, or out of here and go up there. It looks like that's the closest. Yep, I think that's the closest. So that's what we're gonna do. Reset navigation. 
and I will set a nav point for right there. Alrighty, folks, so that's what we're going to do next time. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And maybe next time y'all get to see us, <laughs> see what happens when we fall asleep by driving the truck. Oh, Lordy, I should take advantage of sleeping when I can. You think I'd have learned that over there in the Euro world, but I didn't. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. That was it for me, and thank y'all for coming with me.